Mmm, who are we expecting at the spaceport, Brave Star? A student marshal fresh from the Galactic Academy. A Marshal Carson. He's got to spend some time in training here learning from us. Oh, just don't seem right to use our valuable time wet nursing a half-baked marshal. No, uh, he won't be here long. Just until he gets his assignment to one of the planets. Until then, he's got to have some guidance while he gets his first taste of being a real marshal. Oh, no. Here he comes. Oh, let's start babysitting, Marshal. Yeah. It looks like he needs it, all right. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, uh, nothing at all. I reckon you'd be Marshal Carson. I'm Marshal Bravestar. These are my deputies, 3030 and Fuzz. Hey, Aldi. Glad to know you, Marshal. I'm not sure it's all right to shake hands with a prairie person. Sure he won't bite, Marshal? Not unless you bite him first, Carson. In which case, you'd answer to me. <laughs> You've got a temper, Marshal. Now then, I know you're supposed to teach me what you can, but save your breath, Bravestar. I'm ready to go to work as soon as I get my assignment. Unfortunately, rules are rules, so I'm putting up with this, even though I don't need it, frankly. I'm already the best there is. Think I'll take a look around. <laughs> Telling me we got to have that no good, conceited, bigoted fool amateur here to uh, teach? Why he talk that way to me, Marshal? He not even knows me. What the heck, Marshal? You spent to the ship? No. And it isn't landing in the spaceport, it's heading out into the desert. I better have the computer track it so we know where it lands. Why do you want to come to this old ghost town anyway? Well, I figured to do a story for the paper on the history of Dust City, JB. Huh? It's a ship, and it landed right over there. Come on, JB. The newspaper is hungry for news. <sighs> well, all right. But I just hope that whatever's in that ship isn't hungry, too. <laughs> supposed to be any real ghosts in a ghost town, but no, I'm not so sure. Well, whatever it is, it seems to be connected to that ship, and it's something Marshal Bravestar should know about. Bravestar! And here's the Marshal's office, Carson. Well, I reckon you won't have much use for that, either. Is this talking horse some kind of alien, Marshal? Nope. Good. I don't like aliens. What you got against aliens? They don't look human. They're weird-looking creatures. What's wrong with that? We probably look weird to them. Marshal, the Zot cousins are fighting again. They're going to be some shooting. As you can see, Fort Carrium isn't exactly a peaceful town. You two wait here. Come on, Carson. I need to get a little practice in. That suits me fine. Zach, you no good claim jumper. But Cousin Zach, that claim belongs to both of us. Hold it, boys. Those aren't toys. Guns are dangerous. You could hurt someone. Now, just exactly what's... I'll take care of these aliens, Brave Star. Don't you dare point them guns at my cousin. Go ahead and shoot this rock blasting charge and see what happens. Zed, it's Lynn. Stop it! Uh, uh, I, I can't! Speed of the Puma! 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 Oh, 
Okay, you two, what happened this time? He was sneaking in to stake his claim without me. I was not. I made the claim in both our names. Is that true, Clem? Sure is. Then you two have caused all this trouble for nothing, and you're gonna have to turn in your weapons and pay for all the damage. That's all? I'd throw the book at them. Aliens are no good. They all should... Enough. If that's what you think, you've got a lot to learn about being a marshal, Carson. Is that right? Listen, I... Gee, what a great hat! I'm sorry, Marshal. I... That's all right, son. Here, I want you to have it. Wow! You think this fella's gonna be a good Marshal, Marshal? I don't know. He's got a bad attitude, but a good heart. Come on, Carson. Marshal, an alien ship landed in Dust City and, well, it sure didn't act very friendly. It made my father's turbo do some strange things. I'll check it out. Dust City, pard, let's go. Before we get any closer, let's see if we can raise the alien on the radio. I can't seem to get through the interference. Gotta try some other way to talk to it. Hold it, Carson. Don't approach that thing until I've tried to talk to it. The best way to communicate with an alien is with a gun. Okay, you in there? Here's a taste of what you'll get if you don't come out and surrender. <laughs> Put that away, Carson! I warned you, alien! Now you've gone and done it. Well, I'll be tail feathered. The alien's taking control of those old broken machines. It's sending them right after us. is ridiculous. Hey! Put me down! Thanks, but I didn't mean here. Look out, Marshal! Strength of the bear! Okay, now it's my turn! This time you're going to stay broken! How do you arrest a robot? Wonder what else that thing will throw at us. Maybe nothing, if we don't give it a reason. This thing landed illegally, and it's an alien. So you figure it must be up to no good. Right. Well, this'll force him out. Carson, don't! Carson, next time I tell you not to do something, you listen, or so help me. You'll be seeing the town jail from the wrong side of the bars. Is that clear? Lock! Carson, I've got a feeling you made a big mistake. Uh-oh. Looks as if that thing is heading for Fort Carrium. Yep. And my guess is, it's really mad now.
You, you heard me right, Fuzz. That ship has sprouted legs, and it looks as if it's about to attack Fort Carrion. Put the town in defense mode. What's Fuzz waiting for? Cody Mouse, you brave scout. Fuzz trying to go to defense. But nothing working. Come on, we've got to stop that thing. It's controlling our defenses and probably taking over the town's machines. Are, but it looks like the whole town's gone haywire. Ola, this is your fault, Carson. If you'd listen to the marshal. You can't blame me for what some crazy hostile alien does. No time for talk now. Come on. Uh-oh. Marshal, everything in this town's gone crazy, and I may go with you. What do we do now? They're all going in one direction. <laughs> and turning down Cactus Street. But, but, but how we stop alien? It run all machines in town now. Maybe we should arrest the other aliens in town. They could be working with it. Carson, they might look different on the outside, but under the skin, aliens are people too, just like us. Ha! They're not like us. They're dangerous. Maybe there's someone else who can open your eyes. Shaman, I need your help. Shaman, thank you for coming. I have observed all in the vision flames. How can I help you, my son? I'd be obliged if you could teach Carson here about understanding the way you taught me. Who is he? And what's he doing here? He's my teacher. You have a teacher? Aren't you a little old for that? A person is never too old to learn something of value, if he's willing to listen. True. Observe and learn, Marshal Carson. It was a time when Brave Star was very young. Why did we come to this jungle planet, Shaman? I wish you to meet an old friend of mine. Run, Shaman! A monster! <laughs> It's good to see you, Shaman. Brave Star, this is my old friend, Green Flame. Green Flame, meet my frightened young student, Brave Star. You're saying this alien is the same as that dragon, friendly inside? No, Carson. The story tells us that we cannot judge a strange creature from its appearance alone. And just because something or someone looks different doesn't mean it is bad. But I reckon like Green Flame, the only way to know for sure is to get closer and meet whatever's inside. Yes, but be careful. Even if he is friendly, he may be frightened. And Brave Star, fear can kill. Getting closer to that ship won't be easy. It's using those machines to protect itself. Then we'll just have to fight our way through to it. We'll find ways to use the machine's own force against themselves. Carson, you work with Fuzz. Take out that chopper. Right. I'll stop him, Marshal. Turn and get you all bent out of shape. Mm, that won't hold him long. I know something that will. Strength of the bear. The bear. bear. Wanna play ball, eh? Catch this pass. Look out, Marshal! It's coming back. That's what I was counting on. Doc! Here we come again! But this time I'm ready! Let boys handle this! Quick break down. Good.
Good work. Uh-oh. Carson's got trouble with the last of them. I've got this one almost. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And he's wounded. If I interfere now, he might get caught in the middle. I'll just have to risk going in after him. Maybe if we combine our power, Big Pard. Right! Strength of the bear! You're not going to shoot me with that thing again, alien. Don't try and stop me, Brave Star. Use some kind of ray gun on me. Uh, 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 it was not a weapon. It was a healing ray. You're lying, alien. But I'll let my laser teach you a lesson. No, you don't, Carson. He's telling the truth. Look at you. A few minutes ago, you were badly wounded. Now you're jumping like a sand crab. My, my wounds are gone. Yes, I had no wish to hurt anyone. I just wanted to frighten you away. Why did you attack us? Why did you come here, and who are you? I'm Boris. I crashed here accidentally. I did not know this world, so when the woman and the man in the turbo saddle approached me, I tried to frighten them away to protect myself. So you didn't try to hurt them? Oh, of course not. My people don't believe in violence. But I called you on the radio. You didn't answer. A comet damaged my ship. It destroyed my radio, so I, I could not contact you. And you took over the machines only to protect yourself. Yes. I sent somebody was trying to hurt me. That was me. I was afraid. S so was I. You see, Carson, you two aren't so different. You have nothing to fear, my friend. Come out and meet us in friendship. <laughs> I, I owe you a big apology. You saved my life. And all I could think about was that you were different from me. I see now that Brave Star was right. No matter how different we look on the outside, we're all a lot alike inside. So I just want to say, I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, I also am pleased. My ship needs carrium and a few repairs. I am a prince of my planet, and I can pay you for the damage I've caused. Will you help me repair my ship? We'll be glad to. Payment won't be necessary. We did more than our share of damage. We'll fix you up, starting with your door. Marshal Carson, I never thought I'd be saying this, but uh, I'm sorry to see you go. But I'll be taking something with me from New Texas, something I learned from all of you, about how good people come in all different shapes, and that includes alien shapes. Nicely said, Carson. I think you're going to make a fine Marshal. Will you go now, Marshal Carson? I'm going to Boris's planet. He wants me to be their new Marshal. I, I guess they want somebody who's ready to learn. I'll be the best Marshal in the galaxy. Except, of course, for Marshal Bravestar. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, parts. Today, Marshal Carson learned something that I had to learn myself once. He found out that a person isn't bad just because he looks different or speaks another language. And I reckon he knows that it's a big, wonderful universe with lots of room in it for all kinds of people and animals. Glad you feel that way, Marshal. I wouldn't want you to feel bad just because you don't look like me. 